Okay, I'm going to show you two uh, examples on how to solve problem using numerical differentiation. And this particular problem here, we're going to apply the non-equally spaced data equation. Okay, so given here an equation of y equals to 2x4 minus 6x3 minus 12x minus 8. And the question asks you to find the first derivative at the point x equals to 0. So given values x0, x1, and x2, given three values, you know that this, and please recall back that this equation here requires three values of fx and uh, three values of x and the corresponding fx, okay? And then compare this result, the result that you got, with the true value and with an estimate obtained using a centered difference approximation based on the step size equals to 1. So if you look at the solution here, it solved this using the analytical differentiation. So f prime x will equal to, so this one is 8x cubed minus 18x squared minus 12, okay? So to find the, the answer, when x equals to 0, just substitute 0 into this first derivative and you will get when x equals to 0, f prime 0 equals to negative 12. Because this one will go to 0 and 0, so it leaves only negative 12. So this will be the actual or the true value of the problem. And then it's time to use this equation to work out what is the answer. So this equation requires three points. But if you look at this equation, it has a lot of x's here. It has x, xi, xi plus 1, and xi minus 1. Okay, so in this case, this particular x here without any subscript. So this is the point that we want to find the derivative, which is in this case, it is 0. So in this case, x here is the point in which we want to find the derivative. So in this case, it is 0. And then it needs three um, points, which is xi. Uh, let's see. And it needs xi plus 1 and xi minus 1. Okay, so given here three x's, which is negative 0.5, 1, and 2. So what should be xi here? The one that in the middle. So it should be 1. And negative 0.5, it should be xi minus 1. And then 2, it should be here. Okay, so there we go, our sequence of points. We have our xi, we have our xi plus 1, and we have our xi minus 1 as written here, okay? x0 equals to negative 0 0.5, x1 equals to 1, or an x2 equals to 2. Or we can also call this as x minus x i minus 1. This one we can call it as x i minus 1, this one is xi, and that one is xi plus 1. Okay, and then we need to find the corresponding function values for all these x's. Just substitute this x into um, this y equation, so we got all this answer. Now we got all the values that we need. It's just a matter of substituting the values into this very bulky equation. So f prime 0, the first derivative of uh, 0, when x equals to 0, equals to this one. It comes from fxi minus 1, which is in this case this. And then to substitute everything lah x here in this case is 0 and xi in this case is negative 1 okay because it's uh, minus so it should be minus and then again minus minus xi plus 1 is this 2 2 okay so just substitute everything 
and then the final answer will be negative 13.5 which is different uh, from the true value but not that big different okay next is it asks us to estimate using a centered difference approximation okay so I would like to highlight a little thing here as I mentioned to you in my previous video of the introduction to the numerical differentiation in which uh, we are actually focusing on the high accuracy okay high accuracy of this numerical differentiation so the error of the formula that we have to use has to be proportional to the h squared so for the centered divided for the centered uh, difference it is enough for us to use the formula which gives O H squared instead of using the O H uh, to the power of 4. It is suffice for us to use the equation that gives the error which is proportional to the H squared and this is compatible to the forward and the backward high accuracy formulas. In order for, you, for us to use this centered difference, we need to know the step size since we know that the data given here they are unequal in order for us to use centered or forward and backward one thing we have to remember is that the step size must be the same the the points have to be equispace so already mentioned here that the step size is one All right so i'm going to write here step size is 1 so the x that we want to find uh, the derivative is equals to 0 so if you have 0 here and you know that for the centered divided difference you need your xi plus 1 and xi minus 1 so going forward this is the step size so this should be 1 and this should be 1 so going forward this should be 1 and this should be negative 1 going backward so our data will be um, negative 1 0 and 1 and the corresponding values of the uh, of the fx here for negative 1 it is uh, 12 and for 1 we already calculated here it is negative 24 so how do i get 12 here by substituting negative 1 into the y equation so for the centered difference formula all you need is this uh, corresponding fx for 1 and negative 1 so here 1 is um, negative 24 and negative 1 here is uh, 12 so how do you calculate this this is y i i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 divided by 2 h okay so in this case oh uh this oh we're not using y we're using f so this is f uh, f x i plus 1 minus f x i minus 1 divided by 2 h so f x i plus 1 here um, which is this one is negative 24 minus this one is x i minus 1 minus 12 divided by 2 and h is 1 okay so what did we get negative 36 over 2 and this equals to negative 18 so based on our calculation we can say that um, the unequally spaced data Lagrange uh, first derivative equation is the most accurate equation to calculate uh, numerical differentiation compared to centered but if we compare centered backward and forward the center difference gives higher accuracy. All right, next question will be this. The following data are provided for the velocity of an object as a function of time. 
So you are given a set of data here. This is time and this is velocity. Using the best numerical method available, how far does the object travel from t equals 0 to 28 seconds? If you look at the term, this is velocity and this is time. And for the part A, they ask us to find how far, meaning distance, distance, okay, distance. All right, so how to get distance here? By using integration. If we integrate V here, dV dt, we will get what we needed here, which is the distance. So I'm not going to touch on A. This one is just, you just need to use, uh, because it says the best numerical method. So you just need to use uh, wherever possible. Your first choice will be um, Simpson's 3 over 8 and then 1 over 3. And then part B, using the best numerical method available, what is the object's acceleration at t equals to 28 seconds? So at this time, 28 seconds, what is the acceleration? So you know that to get acceleration from velocity, you need to do a derivation. So acceleration actually equals to dv dt. So here you need to use numerical integration, oh sorry, numerical differentiation. So the question asks you to use the best. So meaning you need to use high accuracy formula. And you can see that the data here, 28, is located between other points. So in this case, it's between 24 and 32. So you know that the numerical differentiation, it has three types, which is forward, backward and centered right so in this case the best numerical method is definitely the centered and this one is enough if we just use the formula which gives the error of proportional to the h squared all right so um in this case we use centered and this is the formula here for the centered divided difference. And let's just plug in the values for this. So this is 20, oops, 28, okay, equals to xi plus 1. So this is your xi and this is your xi plus 1 this is your xi minus 1 so your fxi plus 1 is this 135.7 minus fxi minus 1 so fxi minus 1 is uh, this one 1 to 1.9 okay divided by 2 h h in this case is what is the step size you have to you have to find out you have to calculate so the step size is 4 for all of the data for so solve this so you will get the answer is 1.725 um, meters squared okay so this will be your answer. And then next is using the best numerical method available, what is the object's acceleration at t equals to 0 second? How do we find the derivative when t equals to 0 second? Now we know that from the data, this is our xi. So we have our xi plus 1, xi plus 2, xi plus 3 and so on. We don't have our xi minus 1, xi minus 2. So out of the three, out of the three methods, the centered, the backward, and the forward, the only method that we can use is, of course, the forward divided difference. Forward divided difference. So in this case, we should use the one with the highest accuracy, which is OH squared. So this will be our, this should be our formula to use. So let's calculate this. 
f prime x, or in this case is 0, equals to negative fxi plus 2. So in this case, this is fxi plus 1. This is, FX, this is xi plus 2. So this should be fxi plus 2. So uh, negative 61.8 plus 4 fxi plus 1. In this case, the xi plus 1 is 4. So fxi plus 1 is 34.7. So in the bracket here, it's 34. 0.7 minus 3 fxi. So fxi is 0, so 0 in this, in this bracket. Divided by 2h. So h in this case is 4. Solving this, we should get 9624.5 squared. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I'm just going to explain a bit. If you are given a set of data in a table, so for the first data here, if you need to find the derivative, you need to use forward because we don't have the backward data. But if you are trying to find the derivative at the in the middle of the point, you should use centered because centered is more accurate compared to the um, the forward and the backward but if you are trying to find the derivative of the last data since it doesn't have the forward data it only have the backward so if you're trying to find the derivative when x equals or when t equals to 36 you should use the backward uh, differentiation or backward divided difference okay so you will grasp this idea if you do more exercises I will provide some exercises for you to try on your own All right. thank you so much